All right, we got the kids, Mr. Watch and Learn versus Ying. Got grenades, and we have bacon and other assorted breakfast meats like, that I hope like you enjoyed me. at your hotel room if you stayed at one with free breakfast. Uh, I did enjoy it. That's very good. Oh, apparently the boys did not get free breakfast with their hotel. I'm sorry. A strictly inferior hotel it was. If your hotel ain't giving you free stuff, it better be cheap. I'm all about the amenities, boys. Towels. So can I be real? This matchup is just a slobber knocker. You know what that yes. means? You know what that, are you familiar with that lingo? If Snake can get in, it works out pretty well. All right, Yink right there. If either of them get in, it is a pretty good thing. Game Watch, like Snake is a good way. Yeah. And can kind of get shut out by Bacon sometimes. Yeah, like that stock, like if he can get the grenades set up, it's really good. I do think grenade pull is frame one, which is a little Ooh. nuts. If what sucks about. is if he goes up one more time right now, he's yeah. dead. Like his game and watch, if you get, if he's you hella get one little combo, you're done. Bye. Oh, oh never mind. World? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. I think to go the furthest away from snake up throw, you do want DI behind, so that was good, but like. He's reached him anyway. He's let him know. I don't agree All right, let's see how he gets here. out. I want to see more nares. From who? Uh, Game of Watch. Game of Watch? All right. Like, especially when he was up at top platform, he ended with, like, double bacon. But right. he still had an upbeat. And he was close enough for a nair. All right, I see him. All right, Watch and Learn's been taking control of this, this stock pretty strongly. Let's see. He hasn't been able to get down to the floor, so. Oh, there it is. He's on the bottom again. Watch and learn, like, the way he's playing the platform, it seems like he's a little unfamiliar with what Snake does, because he keeps, like, getting stuck. That's how you get out of that. Oh. Yeah, he probably <laughs> had it, but that nice edge cancel made it, made it so. Damn, instant reaction shield on the trank. I like that. I also like how he's playing around the grenades. He just like sees the grenade pull and he just kind of backs off. He's like, I'm gonna take the yeah. You just need take to the back bottom. off or run in and shield it. That's the only thing you're kind of scared of. Like aside from getting stuck, which is usually just like a you fucked up moment. Right. Um, cause like with the mine, you just faking it wherever it's at, or right. you just ignore it. Oh, this is oh. Yeah, he went for he went for a fair. That's crazy. This man's a nut. Oh, all right. Wow. It's pretty significant. He has an even number on the next hammer, so Brian can go in without fear of a nine for a second. Oh my oh. God! Uh. This man, that angle. This man did not know that what was happening. That man. Watch learn wanted game two. He wanted it now. That was that. I mean, he was dead anyway, right? I'm be real. He's so, stuck, but he's going in and he's getting hits. I feel like you need to play a little bit more patient in this matchup and just go for your grab combos. Yeah, Brian. So, I, yeah, I think this is a better stage pick. I think Battlefield is the platforms make it a little harder to navigate around all of Snake stuff because there's, like, there's Cypher, there's grenades, and it's like... Yeah, I usually go here first as a game and watch. Right. And I know I'm not watch and learn. I'm just some fuck. Right. But I'm just saying I'm a resident sleeper. All right, I'll let you know. See, this looks much more clean. I agree oh. with everything. I you agree like with you. everything. But at the same time, let's go, Brian. like it. What if they were both named Brian? That would suck. That would be very unbiased commentary for you if they were both named Brian. Oh. The DI was a little sus there. I thought he was going to die. Gets back up. I appreciate the reach. He got hit by a grenade, but any aerial and Yink would have been dead. Yeah, see right there? It's like, it's harder for a snake to play, I think, on a more horizontal stage as compared to like a more vertical stage like Battlefield. So it's working out for him in neutral. Oh, he's trying to CC. Oh, he's just got to get out. You can't. You just get hit. Once people see, like, three of them, 
You might as well hit him with just this keep puffing through just the keep 47. Puffing. Just keep puffing. I'm surprised Brian's not like calling out these jumps a little bit with like the trank, you know? Because like he sees the hitbox, he knows he has to land. It's like, could you just trank the landing? Just, maybe it's tight. It might be tight. It's honestly, it's hard to sleep game and watch. All right, I feel, I feel like, I don't know, most of the time he's jumping to throw bacon or do an aerial. Okay. And if he's not, then he's probably next to you trying to do like a down tilt or up tilt. Oh. See the trade? Oh. The nut. See, I'm surprised he went for dash tag and not trank right there. Oh, he, I think he tried to stick there. I oh, think he wanted yeah. to stick him. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, so let's see what the counter pick is, my guy. The ink will switch to Meta Knight, and then go that from would, there. That, no, that would be a he that would be that. a choice. He won't do that. I'm gonna guess probably FOD or. Oh wait, yeah, I gotta remember these bands. What do you ban? He has two. He banned Dreamland and Pokemon. I'll write that down. All right, chooses Delfinos. Lots, very big stage. It's I thought I thought he would pick FOD to be honest. Really? Yeah. Like it's a triplat like Battlefield. This one's just like really far horizontal, and he has like a really hard time coming in because it's so big, you know. Yeah. Like see, like how hard is it for Snake to get anything off there? This stage is long. <laughs> like I don't know if it just looks longer, but it's long, dude. It's a long ass stage. Brian, you could do it though for sure. Let's see. All right, let's see. Oh, puts him up. Oh, he didn't stick him first. I think he was scared of the mash. You listen to people's buttons, and if you hear that mashing quick, you're like, oh, I got to get over there, dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, those buttons I mean, are loud. Right. What if you silence them? That'd be oh, broken. That's why the two TV setup is broken. You can't tell if they're mashing. They're sitting too far. I'm never playing on that setup again. All right, nice call out, but I think he's alive. Oh. He kind of just runs into that. I don't even think like the down smash went off because of Yink. I think no, he just jumped didn't. into it. Gets a stick. I don't know about that forwarder. Yeah. Whenever Yink's getting stuck in shield, it's like it's rough for him. They look, watch and learn. Shield pressure looks really solid. He hasn't gotten like shield grabbed or like hit by an out of shield option yet. I'm gonna need a miracle to make this comeback. All right, there it is. He gets a shield grab on that one. Oh. All right. All right, nice pick up there. One Let's zero to get. death. And then we're still not even, but as close as the Lord can bring us. Anything can be a combo that kills. <laughs> Oop. All right, let's see. Let's see how he's coming back. Oh, he just jumps off. That's it. All you need is an air. All right. There it is. There it is. All right, that's pretty good. All right, well, who we got sitting down? I can't see. There's too many people in the way. Uh, I think two Project M players. One. It, it might it might be a melee player because they signed up due to the incentive bonus. Does that say Diego? Dingo. No, it's my guy Dingo minus the dial, but the Dingo. So, yeah, Dingo. 